for the 40th Army Band. Brandon Town Hall basement. 
but we go back to the luxurious building at the top of our street. Let's Grow Kids is a nonprofit organization on a mission, ensuring affordable access to high quality child care for all Vermont families by 2025. With over 30,000 supporters from all walks of life, Let's Grow Kids is facilitating the movement to strengthen the early childhood education system today and calling for lasting investments in child care. Together, we can give children a strong start and a better Vermont. For generations coming. Brandon and Library Director Molly Kennedy. Handing out pencils. Don't draw in the library books. That's a big moment. Use that on your own paper. Let's grow kids. Let's grow kids.org. They're going to have your D. Are you guys wet at all? No, you guys look dry. You guys must have been under a tent. Look at that patriotic baby. Hey, yeah, you can wait. They're working for you. Yo, can I throw my box of DVDs? He looks tired. I know that look. I got two kids. Got rid of a little cotton candy, a little sugary substance, get it right back on. Brandon Free Public Library, the uh, Board of Directors, David Roberts, walking the libraries everywhere, everywhere. Why don't we get some free bikes? No, no, there are e-bikes that you can check out, but you might have to get some free bikes. For free. You'll have to go to the library. What? Right now it's at the town hall until it moves back over. This looks like I'm not going by the numbers of my books anymore. But, uh, I'm just, this next week school? Next week school and friends team, Relay for Life. It was established by Carrie Clifford in 1997 and expanded to 20 plus members made up of survivors, caregivers, and friends. Several fundraising activities throughout each year are placed as the number one team in Rutland County for four years. Represent. The main relay event is held the first Saturday in June is open to the public. The next week school and friends team always welcome more people to join in the fight to beat cancer. Next week friends. Followed by the Cedar Ridge Band. The Cedar Ridge Band has been around the area for 30 years playing traditional bluegrass, gospel, and old country. Ken Myers, the original founder, has kept this band going. They can be heard next week at the Basin Bluegrass Festival, July 11th through the 14th, right here in Brandon. Cedar Ridge Band. Camp Songadewin of Kiwaitin. It's a summer camp for girls, part of the Kiwaitin Camps, located in Lake Dunmore in Salisbury, Vermont. All campers go on a wilderness trip, either canoeing or hiking. Camp Songadewin. Ray Leonard on his 1953 Farmall Super M tractor. It's been in the shed for 15 years, but he pulled it out and got it running. Thank you, Ray, for getting it running. This is Scouting America. Discovery is at the heart of scouting, whether it's a camp out, derby car race, or a hike on the trail. They believe each adventure helps uncover a little more about themselves, building foundations for humility and compassion, strengthening character through actions, to prepare youth for a lifetime of leadership. Thank you, Scouting. And they have their behavior made. Nice float. Another beautiful beehive. The Brandon will be host of the annual of the scouting parade on November 9th, right? November 9th. November 9th, the big scouting parade right here in Brandon. The Vermont State Scouting Parade will be here, held here in Brandon. Check it out. And if you're interested in scouting, get your kids involved. Boys and girls, join in the scouts. He must be a tiger scout. He's a lion. He's a lion. Ah. 
These scouts know how to run. Go, Jeff, go! First response. Looks like... Is that Pittsburgh? It's Pittsburgh! First response! From the Sunshine Village of Pittsburgh. First response is here. Thank you, guys. Their first response, and I think they're in front of the ladder truck. That's because kind of, that's kind of their first response. They were first. They show up first. And then the Pittsburgh Fire Department comes down. <laughs> Pittsburgh Fire Department got some cadets holding the flag. Very strong cadet program. Baseball players. Pittsburgh ladder one. That's for getting cats out of really tall trees. Just kidding, that's to keep us safe. Engine 24. Holy cow, they got 23 other engines? That is a larger department than I had thought. Engine 24. What are the other 23 engines? Oh, he brought engine one. Okay. The other 22 are at base, ready to rock. Oh no, this is Rutland Town, Rutland Town's engine number one. Thank you Rutland Town for coming down. It's building around Rutland, the heart of Rutland, Rutland Town. CDR towing and recovery. That's why you clap for them. They're going to come and get you. They need, need some help. They're a family-owned business located in Leicester, Vermont. CBR towing. Oh, they're little bee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was cute. Next up, we have the first of our political flows, the Welling County Republicans. Happy Independence Day from the Rutland County Republicans and the Brandon Republican Town Committee. <laughs> we got a scarecrow, some kind of tractor, rainbow state. How will you pay for the new laws? Lower taxation. We have Gregory Fair is in a separate float, I believe. Big Bosch, a puppy dog. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Senator Terry Williams, Senator Colborn, Senator Weeks, all running, I believe, this year for a re-election. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, What's up, so, Brian? What's going on, Terry? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Followed closely by Gregory M. Thayer for Lieutenant Governor. Thayer for Vermont.org. Greg, just thank you for coming out in case you can't hear. Hey, Greg. Billy, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for bringing the weather. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Gregory Thayer, running for Lieutenant Governor. Followed by that support car, the dry support car. That's the, best, that's the place to be, right? Congratulations. <laughs> Another mini gap. Mini gap, I want to let you guys know that the duck race, they are still selling ducks on both sides of the road, one in front of the Brandon and one at the information booth. There's a big duck on the top of it in front of a couple of our vendors there. Taco in the town, as well as Hangry Hound. I'm right in front of the, the booth, the information booth. If you want a chance to win to see your duck go over the falls. Okay, 
Thank you. Deploy Malloy. Don't have a thing, but I think it's part of the Republican maybe. Yes. Republican Deploy Malloy. That's a weird first name. Deploy? Oh no no no. What's your first name? Gerald. Joe? Gerald. Gerald Malloy. Gerald Malloy. It's not the bug. There we go. On the bottom. Deploy Malloy. Republican candidate 2024 for U.S. Senate. There is a big flow coming. Big flow. Big flow. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Let's go, Otters! The Otter Valley Elite Basketball. They are basketball players trying to engage the community in basketball. Otter Valley Elite! Mr. Keith. Very, very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Check, check, check. Hot mic, hot mic. Check, check, hot mic. Otter Valley Elite. They don't stop coming. Look at the Otter Valley Elite. Let's see you make a hoop. Oh. That's tough on a moving hoop. Yeah, there it is. Oh, buckets are falling now. Do not get run over. Be safe. We like buckets, but we like your safety more. Otter Valley Elite. The House of Cocktail. They have shows monthly at Merchants Hall in Rutland, led by King Cocktail, who's the National Bearded Emperor, first alternate. The next show is July 13th, a Disney theme for all age. House of Cocktail. Bees. They're dressed as bees. King Cocktail, be fierce. Be seen, be present. Followed up by 802 Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. 802 Ghostbusters. Here's 
is as marching a concert unit, except during wartime. Considered to be the oldest continually performing military style band in the nation, we are delighted to welcome them back to Brandon's Independence Day Parade. The Cambridge Band! Happy 4th to you on the 6th. Yeah. <laughs> hey. 
Thomas, you got another support vehicle, nice. Followed by Brandon's own Stephanie Jerome. Currently your incumbent rep, Stephanie Jerome, Democratic nominee for the House of Representatives, representing Brandon. Stephanie Jerome with their bees on, their bees, little bees. Brian Andrew, what's going on? Well, by Cedar Rail Farm. Oh, Cedar Rail Farm is there representing Stephanie Jerome. This is a large float. The Brandon Dems, Stephanie Jerome. Riley Kelly Dems. Hey, guys! Woo! Carry a baby. Everybody. Lisa Beluso, hey! There's the news! Laura Peterson! Amita Perry! Hey everybody! Thank you, Robin Chestnut Hangerman! <laughs> There's a lot to work out for. And it's Zuckerman for Lieutenant Governor! What's going on? He's got his carrots again? He brings his carrots again! Zuckerman without carrots. Got carrots. Got carrots. 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 Love those carrots. I gotta get a carrot. Thank you very much. Purple carrots. David Zuckerman. Thank you for the purple carrot. Jeff Ladd. Jeff Ladd driving around the Solar Fest Great Area Toy Project. Eight passengers. Solar powered. Golf cart. Followed by the National Bank of Middlebury with Emma Jean Hoops on the back. Woo! That's Emma Jean Hoops, then National Bank of Middlebury. I got it now. Emma Jean Hoops will be performing out behind the Brandon Inn. National Bank of Middlebury may or may not be there, but they are here in our float. Thank you, National Bank of Middlebury. Followed by the Brandon Museum at the Stephen A. Douglas Birthplace. Brandon's Museum, Brandon's Fantastic Museum, celebrating Thomas Davenport and all kinds of things in peace. Operation Christmas Child, an organization that's affiliated with Samaritan's Purse that provides the gospel and Christmas gifts and a shoebox to children around the world. Operation Christmas Child. They have boxes, dancing boxes. It's gotta be hot in those boxes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome charity. Christmas gifts and shoe boxes around the world. Followed by the Brandon Energy Committee. Brandon Energy Committee is working toward a greener future to benefit every citizen of our community. The Brandon Tool Ship, done in collaboration with the REPHS, is an exciting project to promote electric lawn care equipment. The Tool Ship will be found around town. Opportunity to try electric equipment. Electric power, Mike Bailey going crazy on the easy go. Don't hit anybody, Mike. returning for World War II. There are 30 members of the band's first public appearance at Memorial Day in 1946. The band developed a distinctive, instantly recognizable, brassy sound. They are the little band with the big sound. We're delighted to have the Keen American Legion Band and our parade with a bang each year. Their final band. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, we have the first Vermont Cavalry. Vermont Cavalry are a unit of the Champlain Valley Historical Reenactors of the 258 Cavalry Regiments in the service of the United States during the Civil War. Few performed more arduous service or took more part in more engagements than the first Vermont Cavalry from 1861 to 1866. They achieved a reputation as one of the hardest fighting volunteer regiments.
first Vermont Cavalry. Shuttle Estabrook all around town. Debbie Boyce, take you the bus. And Debbie Boyce. And the end of the parade. Brandon Fire Department, engine number, truck number five. <laughs> 